Okay, so I've not recorded this in a while. I don't remember what I'm up to. So I definitely cleared as these guys. Still so Bass and Zach and Eleanor. And... Yeah, Bayman, Christy. I think that's it. Yeah. So we're going to start off here with... Yeah, so we learned recently that, that this is Lisa. And she's with Tina because I, I've not mentioned this in an actual episode, but the two are actually meant to be friends. Even though they don't actually interact anymore after DOA 4. Even Dimensions. The Dead Man has OG Classic, then awesome scuba gear combat. Now it's going to go with the, uh, his new default, which is actually quite cool. I like Bayman how he actually changes default outfits between games, usually. I like that when a character does that. Because then it's not boring. Come on then mate, let's do this. I'm I'm a big I'm a big Sambowman who is fighting this weird Japanese geisha student girl in Jurassic Park. So like Chris Pratt should be here somewhere. And then you see him fly off into space to help a, a, a fucking raccoon against the a big blue Wait, What happened then? What <laughs> Amazing! I didn't even know about that thing. I'd never seen it before. That was great. I, you can't make this shit up. You can't plan that. Let's move to Terrivum. So apparently Sambo is a style that's designed to like properly incapacitate the opponent. I mean, it is military, so it makes sense. That's not really used for competition, just primarily to, to incapacitate people, fuck up their limbs and shit. You know, I am the winner. It is kind of funny if you think about it, because I, I think Bayman is a wanted man at this point for the uh, murder of Fame Douglas. Uh, so the fact that he's, you know, keep on that that was within the same year as this. So all of a sudden, like he's just still entering these tournaments. And no one ever tries to arrest him. That's kind of the funny thing about the, the whole fighting tournament setup. That it never fits within any kind of real world logic. Come on then. You bitch. Shit, I should have changed the announcer, shouldn't I? That would have been great. Because I've actually unlocked a few of the announcers. Like, I think it's that this game introduced the idea that every character is available. To have, the, have their voice as the announcer. Whereas in um, in Ultimate, it was only Kasumi, Ayane, Hayate, and I think Rido for some. I, I think Rido, yeah, because uh, they got him. They got his voice actor back for one scene. Yeah, so I think this one they moved in Dead Out Dimensions to take place during DOA three. It makes no sense to take place here though. Okay, so she so she does she doesn't seem to know that Bayman killed her father and Donovan's daughters. This is like that it's like that one character in the Yakuza 4 who's like it's like I'll I'll help I'll give you a loan if you can prove yourself or whatever and it's like this is just I think it's a loan. But yeah, so the move this scene to take place on the ship I mentioned earlier. That uh, is the Dotec big cruise ship. The Freedom something, I forget. And... Oh, here we go. See, nothing special here about these two. Ah, no, no big flip moves, but... I did get to do a move. So, uh, yeah, so they moved that scene to take place on that ship during the DOA 3 bit because they added a scene for DOA 3 in which, um, uh, I think it's around the time when Christy reveals herself as an assassin, Eleanor confronts her with Bayman while Christy has Kasumi Alpha with her. Yeah, it's weird. In fact, I think they even moved Bayman's fight with Christy from 3 into, like, DOA 1 or something. 
Fuck off, old man. Shit. Fuck. Ha ha. Oh, what? Oh, he, he got me again. Damn it. Yeah, but fine. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. I love, I love when the characters have, have that, those lines for the intros. I'm sure you wouldn't have gone off the edge if I hadn't pushed him with that second move, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, and the characters actually have lines relating to the fact they just lost. It that makes no sense, really. Because, like, Bayman's lost to Genfu, but he's allowed, he's allowed to get back up and try again, but Genfu isn't. Fuck. Damn it. I almost had that. Son of a bitch. Fuck off, you never could have predicted that. You cunt. Fucking hell! How does, how does he keep... How is it when I counter, he gets the advantage? What the fuck? Fuck off! That's... Oh. Ugh. Yeah, suck it, you old fucker. And another thing with the uh, count system in this game, though, in the series, though, is that... Especially if you're on a high difficulty, your opponent really does get this amazing um, advantage over you. Because they can just count your moves unrealistically. You know? I, it, is, it is very capable of, um, of just reading your inputs and countering. It's bollocks. Mm -hmm. Stupid Zack. He's such a tool, I tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then it all blows up. What? <laughs> Yeah, this, this scene makes no sense. Like, what the fuck? Why are these two fighting? But it's kind of fun that these two basically both be, uh, become Eleanor's uh, allies. No, it's, it's just a weird thing. It's like, what the? F why the fuck is Bayman trying to kill Zack? Like, what? Like, just because Zack's here? I mean, he's obviously not working for Doa Tech. It's just weird. Eat. Oh, yeah, suck it. And he breaks his own neck. Yeah, I'm sure that was the threat. Yeah. You already see, you, it's funny that, because you already see, before they do the slow motion repeat, how it ends, that, that little exchange attacks. You already see him block it. Ooh, bang! Oh, right, he has, he has, a, he has a, a dodge roll. What is this, the Hyrule Warriors? Ooh, that's a good looking one. I wonder what would happen if you'd beat the, the final opponent by knocking them downstairs. That'd be cool. So you got this lady. I don't know who, I don't know who she is. She's, she's not named. So this, this looks just like the the uh, Cerebro room from the X-Men movies. And I guess the comics too. Yeah, so Baymon was apparently captured then. Like Chrissy beat him and captured him. Yeah, this is not any kind of prequel scene or anything. It's like, this is within the tri tower. OMG, mad flashbacks. Oh. 
sight. Holy shit. It's mostly stuff from his uh, th three ending. You know? Not really sure the point of it. Oh, so, that, so I, was, I was never all sure if that was his hand or hers, but yeah, it's his own. Ah, uh, they died. That's what you get for working for Donovan, bitch. Uh. Okay, back to the menu. Took, took a bit longer than it probably should have done, so I'll just cut that out and just get to this bit quicker. So now we're going to move on and play as Mr. Base. Now, Bayman's kind of become more relevant to the central Doa tech story. So it seems weird that I play as him, then go back to playing as this motherfucker. Got that one. And this Viking outfit. Let's go with this one, because I really like this outfit. It, uh, this game is default in Dimensions. Not sure why. I mean, it's, it's really good, but I don't know why they made that his default. And this is the last uh, appearance of Daisuke Gori in the role, sadly. Fuck. What the hell? Stop defeating me, you fuck. You're not allowed. This is a let's play. I have to... That was a good move, I admit. It's, I had to be the one to win. Ooh! He did. Okay. Bloody hell, look at the bounce. Look at the bouncing on that. Oh! I was basically like a rotter bottom of something, mate. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh. Let me turn around, for fuck's sake. Fuck, no! Oh, so bloody close. We'll try that again. Put the pedal to the metal. I wonder if Bim actually knows Lisa. Because I think that like, Lisa was introduced as a friend of Teen, like I said, and... But it's not, but it's not known how he... If, if, if Base knows anything about... Lisa. Shit. It's so random though, Lisa, especially when you consider uh, her character that. Yeah, I'm not sure I really discuss as much, but she's a scientist for Doa Tech. And then they put her in this game, she, she introduces Tina's friend, then she pays a lucha. Yeah, Tina's friend who works for Zack on his fucking private island. Then she's suddenly an important scientist for, for a luchador and an important scientist for Doa Tech, who works on both the Alpha and Epsilon projects. I.e. works on cloning Kasumi and also works on um, also works on trying to brainwash Hayate. Any involvement she may have had in Project Omega is unknown. Fuck. You're supposed to be my friend, Genfu. You're supposed to listen to me about my problems with my daughter. You bastard. Instead of showing up in every fucking playthrough I do, every fucking run through the story mode I do, he shows up and beats the shit out of me. You dick! Just fuck off and die, old man. That's why you got no fucking mates. Fuck! Oh, aha! Ah! Take that! Yeah, you just got beat up by Hulk Hogan. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure this scene was a bit longer originally. Like, there's a bit where, where Bass is just like being praised by Muramasa. So maybe some of it got cut by load. Uh, didn't she play because load, sc load screen or whatever? Yeah, we've seen this before. And at least this fight with Brad Wong. So, yeah, so I have to fight Genfu and Brad Wong to the most annoying fucking cunts to fight in the game. In a row. As base, whose moveset isn't that great. Oh, yeah, I was wondering if we are going to do a, a, a fucking drop kick. Oh. And he just dies. Oh. 
Ah, I did kick him. Yeah. See, I loved, I loved that kind of level interaction with the environment. Not just, not just knocking them into other parts of the environment. That is really cool. Uh, you know, not just. Um, I oh, press the button here like an injustice, then you can do something in the environment. I mean, like some something really fluid, like that, just knocking the opponents over things and jumping over them after them. It's like you say, either shut up or sit down. And yeah, power. Oh no, not Jandle. I'm gonna die. Ooh. It's kind of funny with a Jandley though. That, um, I really like his moveset, but I don't like him as a character. He's, he's, kind, of like, he's kind of the opposite of Sophie in Soul, Soul Card. Though, where I'm not fond of her moveset, but, but I think she's a like, really good character. In fact, she's my waifu. Aha, aha, aha. Oh, shit. No, no, he's going to finish me off. Haha. <laughs> it's like, whoa, whoa. And I'm like, I'm just like to the head and then he goes down eat some meat son eat some meat oh the hair looks terrible I can't watch it yeah it's kind of funny if you think about it because we don't know what year the Dead or Alive games take place in because they're all in one, one year aren't they right so, but this 360 launch could possibly be an implication that it's supposed to take place the year of the 360 launch, this one. So this so this would be, I guess, late... Oh, shit. So I guess I, I guess they all take place over 2005, with DOA 4 being late 2005. I don't know if that really holds up, but I think it's an interesting thing to think about. It is kind of... It, I wonder if there are actually any wrestling... Um, leagues or federations anymore that actually let a man wrestle a woman like, cause like i think i discussed this when i did this exact fight as tina but like they don't really like at least the wwe doesn't really do that it really pissed really pissed me off in the games when you when you do you only to have a man and a woman against each other is in a, a mixed tag match and then they have this asinine rule that if one person tags out the other person has to tag out because it's an illegal move and a disqualification offence if a person from one gender hits a person from the other. So it was it really it really annoyed me when um, I, was, I was doing a, a mixed tag match and I was I was um, the male on my team and I I did a, an attack. Uh, I think it was like a diving um, clothesline or something, or like a running one. And I ended up because um, because obviously the the, the 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 female opponent was like on the. Um, outside the ropes but she stood on the ropes she was on the edge of the, the of the ring apron okay all this stuff's just kind of creepy but yeah she's she's on the edge of the rope apron and i end up hitting her and got disqualified so that's not fair you know she wasn't even the legal person it's bullshit we're like back back in like the 90s it was like lita fucking china i think even trish stratus was like sure go ahead wrestle the men now the best was in the um the best was in, in a friggin' Smackdown 2, where like, most Royal Rumbles, you'd have friggin' Molly Holly just come storming down the ramp and win. She'd beat 29 other, other superstars and fucking win. So stupid. Look at that guy getting way too close to the action. What a tit. He's such a tool. It's one of the better endings of the game, actually. 